Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 12 of the chapter Chemical Kinetics. As I promised, we would be solving some in-text questions that is numerical problems based on the calculation of the rate constant or the half-life period. This is question 4.5. This is your in-text question. Let me read the question. A first order reaction has a rate constant of 1.15 into 10 to the power minus 3 per second. How long will 5 grams of this reactant take to reduce to 3 grams? So what all do we have first? Rate constant is K is given to us as 1.15 into 10 to the power minus 3 per second. And the concentrations are to be given. We know that rate constant K is equal to 2.303 upon T log R0 upon R, right? Where R0 and R stand for the molar concentrations of the reactant at initial time 0 and at the second time R, at any other time R. And T is the difference between these times, so it gives you that period. Now the question is, T has been asked, so T will go here and K will come down. And in the case of uh, solutions, the, the R0 and R stand for molar concentrations. And the ratio of these is only the ratio of the concentrations of the reactant initially and at the final point. If you have solid reactants, then you would not have a molar concentration. You would have the masses of the reactant. That is, this is the mass of the reactant initially, and this is the mass of the reactant after a certain time T has passed. So, in that case, R0 or initial concentration would be the initial mass, and the final concentration would be the final mass. So basically, you're only finding out the difference between the quantity of the reactant initially and at that final point. So in the case of a solution, you would have called it the concentration. In the case of solid, we know the concentration is, it is one whole. You do not talk of concentration in liquids and solids. Therefore, in that case, you would be taking the mass. Because basically, it is just the, it is only the ratio between the two, between the two quantities. So using this, let us now find out the value of T. T is equal to 2.303 upon K log R0 upon R, right? Now, we know that R0 according to this, R0 is equal to 5 grams and R is equal to 3 grams. So let us substitute these values in this equation and find out the value of T. So T would be equal to 2.303 upon K, which is given to us is 1.15, 1.15 into 10 to the power minus 3 per second is the unit, log of 5 upon 3, because R0 is 5 and R is 3. When you solve this, you'll get 2.303 upon 1.15 into 10 to the power minus 3 per second and log 5 upon 3 when you calculate this comes out to be 0 0.2219 into 0 0.2219 and when you solve all of this you will get the value the answer which is 444.38 444.38 444 now what will the unit be why do we have no unit here? Because 5 grams upon 3 grams, the grams would get cancelled. So the only unit you're left with is second inverse in the denominator. So this comes up in the numerator and becomes equal to second. So you, the answer is 444.38 seconds and or which is approximately equal to 444 seconds. And that would be the amount of time. So this would be the time required for 5 grams of the reactant to turn into 3, to be reduced to 3 grams if the rate constant is this. Right, so this was question 4.5. Let us now come to question, in-text question 4.6. Now the question is, the time required to decompose SO2Cl2 to half of its initial amount, which means 
the time required to reduce it to half the initial amount. So any, the time required to reduce the reactant to half its initial amount is known as the half-life period. So T half is given to you. So the time required to decompose SO2Cl2 to half of its initial amount is 60 minutes. So T half is 60 minutes. If the decomposition is a first order reaction, for first order reaction calculate the rate constant. For first order reaction K is equal to 0.693 or T half is equal to, they are interchangeable. T half is equal to 0.693 upon K. And since it is given in minutes, therefore this would be uh, in minutes. And since we, we had to find out the value of K, we will write K is equal to 0 0.693 upon T half. And T half is given to us. How much is it? 60 minutes. So 0 0.693 upon 60 minutes would be equal to, so what would the unit of this be? The unit of K would be minute inverse because minute is in the denominator. And numerically, when you solve this, this comes out to be equal to 1 point, sorry, 0 0.01155. 0 0.01155 per minute, right? And or if you want it in minutes, this could be written as 1.155 into 10 to the power minus 2 per minute. Now, if we want to solve this in per second, then to get per minute, K would be equal to 1.155 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 1 upon 60. Now, this is in per minute. And this would be in per second upon per minute. So the per minute and per minute will get cancelled and when you divide this value by 60 you will get this to be equal to 1.925 1.925 into 10 to the power minus 4 per second sorry you just write s not s e c per second would be the unit so 1.925 into 10 to the power minus 4 per second is the time uh, is the value of k or the rate constant well i just wanted to make this short video before i proceed with the next topic so with this i'll wind up the video if you found it helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry thank you for watching and bye bye for now